Here's what you may have missed with the announcement of the new workflow builder in Bubble. They announced that at BubbleCon yesterday and anyone viewing the workflow editor in the Bubble app builder is gonna be invited to try it out. You can always disable it again in settings. But I wanna share with you what I think is the most exciting change and it isn't a visual one, it is a function one that they promised coming soon. But before I do that, if you're watching this video and you're wanting to launch a Bubble app, there's no better place to go and learn how to do that than clicking the link down in the description and heading over to planetnocode.com. So the exciting thing that this new layout allows you to do is, well, frankly, as soon as I saw this, it reminded me of somewhere else on the internet. It reminded me of Zapier. And that is a very top-down uh, ability to build workflows visually. And I've already dropped a clue of what I was really excited about when I heard it in the announcements. I heard them say it several times, which is that the new workflow builder paves the way for if statements. So at the moment, this is just a really simple workflow, but let's say I you expanded this out and rather than if A, if B, I had C, D, E, F, G, etc. Well, at the moment, I have to add a conditional statement on to the bottom of each one and then I have to put the result, and I can click through to it now, it does make it nice and quick, in a custom event. But it really doesn't look as pleasing. I, you know, I could have a real, it could be kind of five, six blocks going down but I want that check to all happen at the same time and I only want my workflow to go down one particular route. Well, in Zapier, with a very similar layout, you can see just how easy it is. They call it paths, you could call it if statements or branching, etc. cetera, um, but it allows you to send your logic down a particular flow in your workflow. So I think that it is very easy to conceive that Bubble is gonna add in something similar to this uh, into the workflow builder and they needed to make this visual switch in order for us to be able to add in paths, if statements, switching, that sort of thing in the future.